Hello, welcome to Get Your Mind On. I'm Lori Stos. Do you think about all those things that when you were young that you started? The first time you rode your bike, the first time you went to kindergarten, the first time you tried something new, you tried a sport, or you went to that first piano lesson. What were those feelings that you got when you tried something new? Were you anxious? Were you excited? Were you fearful? There's all those feelings and thoughts that come along when we start something new. But when was the last time that you were a beginner? Think about the last time recently that you said, I'm going to start something new. Has that been a long time? Has that been recently? Sometimes we have to really step back and think in our lives, when was the last time we have been a beginner so we can try something new? Now that's all relative for some people, right? A beginner for some might be just taking a different way to work. A beginner for someone else may be, gosh, I want to try that triathlon or try something new I've never started. I want to go take a trip somewhere by myself in a remote area. That's something new for them. So first, you have to think about what it is for you that you want new. Maybe what can you bring a spark in your life to start something from the beginning? How do we be a beginner? So first, it's really good to think about what is that uh, and why do you want to do it. So the what, again, is all relative to you. And what is something that you really can think about and why do you want to do it? Is it because I want to grow? Is it because I want to have something fun? Is it because I'm feeling stuck, you know, because I'm feeling like I need something new? You know, I'm pretty excited because uh, although I'm sad that I'm going to be an empty nester here in a uh, few months uh, after August when the kids go to college and, and be home by myself, which I could look at that as a fearful moment of, oh my gosh, I'm going to be all by myself. Or I can look at it as an exciting moment and say, what can I start? What can be new that I can do now? Maybe that I put on hold or something that maybe I can do because my time is different now and I don't have restrictions or I could travel. So that's a different perspective for me to look at. So first I have to think about what is that? What is? What do I want to do? Why do I want to do it? And what are the next steps? So first some things to think about is one, sometimes uh, if we're a little fearful about it, maybe we should try something that we know might be easy for us or um, that we can dive into that's a little bit comfortable that we know that that's one of our strengths or something that we're, we're good at. So just thinking of a triathlon, you know, if that's something you want to do, you might think about do you like running or do you like swimming or do you like biking? Um, you might just start to say what can I do to make me successful at least in one area of, of, of that, uh, that trade or that uh, sport or something that I'm taking. Uh, that's one thing to think about in terms of how to how to proceed. The second thing to really think about is what do I need to break it down maybe into little steps. Um, what are the little steps that I can take to get there? Um, don't look at it as a huge goal if it's something big. Um, third is what are the resources that I can use and who maybe who what can I what do I have to read or who um, can I go to that knows something about this that I can start so I can maybe get some of those questions answered. So when we think about those things, it's nice to really think about beginning, but sometimes there's reasons we're not starting. And so it's really first finding out what we're good at, two, um, thinking about uh, what we want to do, taking little steps, and three, what is the resource of somebody um, or reading that we can do. So we think about that beginning. I really want you to think about what it is for you and how personal it can be for you. Um, maybe that fear uh, that's gotten on our way has maybe because we don't know what we might fail at. And there might be some past history of our own failures. And I think we have to put that aside and give ourselves a fresh start. So for Positive Charge this week, I want you to think about a new beginning. When was the last time that you had a new beginning? Two, what could that be for you? And three, what are the resources that you need to start? New beginnings give us new life, new excitement. Although there's sometimes a little apprehension, we can't really experience greatness in something until we've started. Thank you for joining us today, and remember to get your mind on.